squats, leg extensions, hamstring curls. I mean, that's a pretty darn good leg workout, you know? Well, good morning. We just kind of got right into things here. And uh, yeah, we're doing a leg day today. <laughs> Starting with our hamstring curls here. That was our first set and uh, we're getting moving. We're getting moving because we don't have a ton of time this morning, unfortunately. Uh, we've still got, we've got enough time. We've got something to work with. And in order to make it work, what we're gonna be doing is just modifying this workout to get in really whatever we can. At the moment, I think that's basically gonna be hamstring curls and some safety bar squats. We're gonna throw in safety bar squats. Right, if we're able to get in some extra after that, maybe leg extensions, uh, great. I'm definitely gonna try to throw in calf raises as well. Not entirely sure if that's gonna happen, but we'll, we'll, see. we'll see. It's all dependent upon time. I know we're gonna have time for this and safety bar squats. Don't have a lot to work with today, that's okay. It's cold in here, we couldn't even let it preheat. We just had to get out here and do it, so I apologize for the noise. I'm gonna be able to turn that off here, hopefully, in a couple minutes if it gets a little bit warmer, but we'll see, we'll see. Set number two, let's do it. Well, it got a little warmer in here, and I think we're gonna be set to keep the big propane heater off for at least a little bit, we'll see. I'm uh, guessing it's sitting somewhere around 50 degrees in here, which isn't crazy warm, to be totally honest. It's pretty cold out right now. Um, I believe it's about 19 degrees outside. We've just been in a cold spell. We've been in a pretty big cold spell these last couple days. Actually got snow over the weekend, and it stuck around well, a little longer than I thought, honestly. I thought it was only gonna last maybe a day, and uh, here we are, what, three days later? And it's <laughs> still here. So that means the garage is a little bit colder than it normally is. It takes a bit longer to get warmed up. But if we keep moving, that's not really gonna matter all that much. We keep moving and grooving here, so we're gonna keep cranking through these. We're gonna do two more sets of these hamstring curls. Get in four quality sets for our hamstring work today. And then we're gonna move over to our safety bar squat. I just feel like hitting that today. That's the leg exercise I wanna do. I think from a bang for your buck standpoint, knowing that we're probably, probably not gonna be able to do a third leg exercise of any kind, whether that's leg extensions, um, some kind of hamstring focused movement like RDLs or anything like that. The safety bar squat's gonna be a good, uh, good spot for us. I did think about doing regular squats, but I just, I don't know, I got called to the safety bar today. Uh, wanna do the safety bar squats, not, not having any back pain or anything like that, but just kinda wanna hit that, really do a more quad focused movement here. So. We'll see where that takes us, but let's get on to set number three. Uh. 
You know, this was definitely one of those workouts that I could have just been disappointed that we weren't gonna be able to do our regular plan, and it would have been warranted. Well, to some degree. This is the last week of the cut, uh, at least the last official week of the cut. We leave for vacation in six days. Six days, so getting really close here. We are in the final stretch. And in some ways, this is gonna be the easiest stretch, and in some ways, this is gonna be the hardest stretch. We are locked in for this week. From a dietary standpoint, I have thought a lot about, you know, what is this week gonna hold? What are we gonna, you know, prepare, eat? And I'm not gonna be doing anything too crazy. Nothing that I haven't made or eaten for myself in the past three months, really. At least I'm not planning to. But we're really, really gonna be honing that in. Really sticking hardcore to that diet and maybe even potentially doing some extra cardio slash cutting a couple extra hundred calories a day sometimes. We'll see. I wanna make this last week count for everything. You know, we've put in all this time, effort, and energy. I wanna to get to Cancun and really be able to show myself that I did it and prove to myself that I can finish this out strong. Okay, one final set here on the hamstring curls. Come on. Man, it feels good to be back underneath the bar. Even if it is a safety squat bar. Um, I love that thing, man. It's a great way to change up and add some variety to squat days. I'm not, at the moment at least, I am not competing in any powerlifting events. And even if I was, I think there's a place for, for your training for the safety squat bar. It is, like the belt squat, a great way to load uh, your quads, your, your, really your whole lower body, and reduce that load and strain on your back uh, and your shoulders, most importantly, for the safety squat bar. It really does change how that weight's distributed. That's the point of it. It just allows you to push a little bit more than you might be able to with a regular barbell back squat. It's a great alternative. And if you've got the equipment, you got the accessory, I would encourage you to use it. Um, you can simulate a bit the uh, safety squat bar, at least from a shoulder impingement perspective with some safety straps, you just wrap them around uh, the bar itself and you can use them like that. I have uh, I've made a video about that before and if there's some interest, I'll, I'll share it or make another little bit more professional one. But it's actually pretty easy from a sh for shoulder impingements to kind of simulate a safety squat bar and not have to bring your shoulders so far back, which some guys and gals have uh, a problem with. They can't really reach the barbell without hurting their shoulder. First set felt pretty darn good. 225 on the bar there. Well, it's actually a little bit more than that. It's what, 240? The bar weighs 60 pounds itself, so a little bit more than 225. 240, uh, we're gonna up the weight here on this next set. Again, we're just making do with what we got today. We've got, unfortunately, only about 15 more minutes here. So we're gonna crank out another set. I'm gonna throw on another 20 pounds and see what kind of reps we can get. If we, you know, if we only get six reps, eight reps, that's fine. You know, we're gonna get in the work. That's, that's what's most important today, is just getting out here and doing something for our own good. So let's get after it. Set number two. Let's go. Good. Whew. Solid second set there. Really solid, actually. I felt pretty darn good. So we're gonna keep up in the weight. We're gonna see how high we can go here. I think I'm gonna shoot straight up to 300. Honestly, it's, uh, it was feeling really strong. Really strong. We got eight reps in there. They felt solid. So I'm feeling pretty confident about 
shooting us straight up to 300 here. We'll see what that does, but uh, we're going to be able to get the reps in there. I know that. I do know that. Let's uh, load up that bar. Let's get this thing set to 300 pounds. And let's get underneath it and squat some freaking weight. Last set. 300. Oh. Uh, all right, I felt, I felt good. Not as strong as we had hoped for, but that's okay. I don't know, I think we had more in our tank overall. I think we could have done more reps, but something wasn't there for that to happen. And I don't know exactly what it is, to be completely honest. I think we were uh, fueled enough, rested enough, but just something, just something wasn't clicking. So it's okay, it happens, it happens. Uh, we'll note it down and we'll move on to the next exercise. That's all we can do. Can't keep thinking about it. All right, we do have time for uh, one more exercise here before calves. We're gonna do some leg extensions. So we're going to quickly start taking this down, but we're gonna get started on the leg extensions while we're cleaning it up. So let's get set up for that. All right. Set one. Good. Two minute rest. Clean up some of this weight. Next set. Whew, just in time for set number two. Right on time. Set two. Very good. Man, it's, it's, uh, it's a good feeling when you can kind of cobble together a little workout here, just make do with what we got. We didn't have a lot of time today and that's okay. It's gonna happen from time to time. We'll make the most of it. So we'll get in one more set of our leg extensions and then do our calf raises um, off camera as we are cleaning up a bit more here, just putting the rest of this stuff away. Squats, leg extensions, hamstring curls, I mean, that's a pretty darn good leg workout, you know? Did we maximize our hypertrophy gains today? No, almost certainly not. You know, there certainly was probably more growth on the table for us to achieve overall today. But we made do with the time we had. We didn't have a ton of time, like I said. And uh, we'll get something in. It's better than nothing. It's gonna stall that muscle deterioration. Uh, that certainly wouldn't take place before the next leg workout. But we're getting that workout in there. We're getting it in there. We're giving our legs some work. We're expending some calories. Ugh. And we're putting in the work required to keep chasing down our goals and dreams. Later today, we'll get some time to do a little bit of cardio, 30 minutes of cardio. And it'll be a good day overall. But right now, let's wrap up with these leg extensions and get out of here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Shorter video. Hope you appreciate the condensed workout though, nonetheless, in the commentary. Drop a like, subscribe, comment, if you've made it this far, I think you like the content. This is certainly not the normal content, but uh, think about subscribing. Maybe I'll see you again. Thanks once more for being here. I'll hope to see you next time.